So it is, good morning by the way, it's Sunday the, oh, it's the 10th or something like that of July and we left the campsite, um, nice campsite, no showers or toilets or anything but it had all the other stuff, um, not a cloud in the sky at all um, and we've driven to Trice which is, I can't remember where it's near, it's National Trust I think it's a house and gardens and stuff. So it's quite a big car park, but obviously get here early because I would imagine it's going to fill up quite quick. Okay, so there are your details. And off you, obviously, if you're National Trust members, you can get in free and stuff. And here is a map. Whatever number three was that he says, I don't know. Okay, obviously he's doing some work there. Um, so all the other dogs in the car park only, but you can have assistance dogs. And if you want to join the National Trust, there's the prices. If you go to a lot of National Trust places, it is well worth it because, I mean, you, you get the money back with after visiting, like, I don't know, three, four, five places. You get free parking if there's a car park anywhere. It is worth it if you go to a lot of these places, as I said. We've been a bit faffy since we've been here, actually. It's a bit, we've been here about an hour faffing around. Um, anyway, just been in the shop, nice gift shop. I bought myself a bum bag to keep all my cameras and stuff in because I'm, I'm walking around like I've got like a bracelet full of camera equipment. It's like, oh, so I bought, bought myself a bum bag. Look, I don't know if you can see. Hold on. There you go. Camera in there, little pockets, bottle pocket at the front. He's forgotten his eyes, he's got it. So let me turn you around to the garden. Around. Okay. Beautiful lavender. Wow. Let's have a little snifter. Mm. Don't know if you can hear the bees. Covered in bees. I don't know if you heard those. Couldn't really smell, I suppose you've got to touch it in the lavender, aren't you thinking about it? These roses smell, they're a bit past it, aren't they? The smell of rose. Can't reach. Can't really smell them from here. God, it's so hot. It's meant to be hotter than yesterday, isn't it? Beautiful. Um, while you were in the lavatory, um, I was talking to the lady and she said there were, oh, what's those moths called that look like birds? What are they called? Hawk moths? Hummingbirds. I think she said it was hummingbird. She, they, she said they like the purple flowers. bit of the house. No idea who lives here or lived here. Can you, yeah, uh, I'm coming in. Assuming you can see, and there is, isn't there? One just landed in there. That's a what do you call it one, right? Yes, I can sort of smell it. Mm. Woo. Okay. 
Okay, let's get some photos. Five hundred and seventy-six panes of glass in that window. This is the Great Hall. Whether last you used by the home guard. Last used by the home guard. Oh. Before that, I think it's where they used to get. Before get the that, ready. they think that's where they used to get the horses ready for what? Jim Carner. Going out for a day. Going out for the day. That is a nice view through here. Birds. Birds have just landed in that tree there. It's okay. Oh, yeah.
Okay, so we've left Trerice and we are now coming to a stone row called the Nine Maidens. Uh, we pulled in up there, that way, at a lay-by on the A39, A39 walk down. Just a couple of miles outside St Colin Major. Yes, I don't know if you heard that, it's a couple of miles outside St Colin Major. we just gone through, what was it called? We're... Winnard's Perch. Winnard's Perch or something. I've just now got to get over this style. Happy days. Okay, I've made it over the style. And just got to walk down this path. Ooh, what was that? Something just flown off in the bushes. Um, through these sheep. And it is just around this little corner in the fence down there in the corner of the field. Okay. Um, so it doesn't start in the corner then, it starts there, is that right? So you've got a whole row of them here going up. We just scared all those sheep, they were nicely shaded under that tree. I'll just see Colin there. Um, and they all ran. I'll just say sorry. Got some cosy as well. Oh, little, look like got very old calves. One, two, three, four, five, six. You said there were a few laying down or something. So we've just walked along the Nine Maidens, is that right? Yes. Yes. Uh, what is the lowdown on the Nine Maidens? They would... You need microphone to gob. Yeah. It wasn't, it was It was all the way down oh, to your feet. Do all this again then. Oh, just go on. Good. Just do it. Right. They were caught dancing on a Sunday to ELO. It was turned to stone. Nine girls, and up just up there, 800 meters away in the distance, but you can't get to it, it's on private land. Is the fiddler who was playing their music? He wasn't okay. Is that it? Why are they in a row? Because they were probably line dancing. Oh, god, give me strength. Is that it? 
yeah, so they've been here since about 19... It must have been after 1977, because that's when Tenter Stone came out. Jeff Lynn wouldn't lie. He wouldn't. He wouldn't, because he said today it's going to be Mr. Blue Sky. And look, it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Words fail me. I know. Or the other myth is they're about two and a half, three thousand year old. Mm. That says it lies. Which is true, I wonder. Okay, we have driven about seven miles from the last place to St. Brioc Down. To, what's it called? St. Brioc Monolith. St. Brioc Monolith. And it's just in front of us. So we parked in a very tiny lay-by. We parked like that because whichever way we park, whether we park across or that right way, it's such a tiny lay-by, we're going to be blocking it. So, and it is only just up here, so we're not going to be long. Ooh. So, a uh, bit of a grassy track. Let me turn you around. Oops, it was behind there. Is that what? Information thing. There it is. And there's lots of uh, stone chats. Chatting away. Keep seeing a stone chat landing on top of it. Grasshoppers. Oh yeah. So if you can see them, stone chats just on top of these uh, gorse bushes. They always aim for the tops of bushes and gorse bushes and just fly off and come back to it. Making that noise. Let me... Hope you could hear them. Right. Okay, so this is it there. And this is a map, I can't actually see what's on the screen, of all the stuff that's around here. So there's the Nine Maiden Stone Road where we were earlier. The fiddler is up there, we didn't see that. It's laid down. It's it? laid down. So standing stones are marked with an or a purple cross, that's where we are now. Burial mounds are just the red dots. And burial chambers, only one on here is that one there. So there we go. So this is a prehistoric standing stone, and it's oh, it's the largest and heaviest in Cornwall. Uh, probably dates from the late Neolithic or early Bronze Age, around 2500 to 1500 BC. There you go. Right, let's have a little look. Let me shade there a little bit, innit? Fell over in 1945. Oh, he's just said it fell over in 1945. Cornish, it's called the Men In Cornish, it's called Men Stone. Which means the waiting stone. I apologise if I pronounced that wrong. And there is a wind farm here. And look at that fabulous view. Oh, I can actually hear them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, where was the sea? I saw the sea just now. Oh, hang on. Right, the sea's over that other, other way. Hang on. I can't see much here. And there's the sea. And there's the coaster. Beautiful.
it's fenced off. Uh, oh, I'm being bitten again. Honestly, I've been bitten on the palm of my hand today. Uh, right, the other stand stone. I'm not sure if we can get to it. I don't even know if you can see it. It's, it's right down on the horizon of this field. So possibly might not be able to get to it. Salt. I don't know if there was a lay-by further down there, do we? Yeah, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. If not, can't do it. Uh, St. Brioch Wind Farm. Have a listen. Honestly, shush. Right. Beautiful view. Right. So, after giving up on the other one, came to, back to the van just behind us, and Leon says, do you want to double check there's no trig point up here? So this is quite high. Good job we did check, because there is one. Um, so I'm going to go past the monolith, Megadeth, whatever it's called. Oh, I'm going to get bitten again. And carry on across the road on the other side of this little tiny triangle bit of grass. Sorry, you're probably looking at the top of my head then. Um, cross the road and it's just halfway down a little track, so uh, I'll let you know when we get there. <sighs> oh my goodness me, we've been searching around the house for this trig point um, and we found a path into it just there. It's too long for me to go through because I've only got my shorts and sandals on. I'm dripping with sweat. Um, so you've gone in there, you've seen it, haven't you? Yeah. So I'm going to pass the camera to Leon and he's going to take you in. Right, that's as close as I can get to that one. It's really overgrown. Just about to see it in there.